just sweetest little thing I think I've ever seen in my gosh darn life. Hi guys, I'm, you're about to see a garage sale with me video just from one yard sale that my husband and I went to over the weekend and I didn't do an intro. I'm just now realizing that. So I'm doing the intro for this video now. So this video is going to be a little bit of a garage sale with me video and mainly it's a haul. So you can go ahead and watch the shop with me first at the yard sales and then come back. No. And then stay and I will show you everything that we bought this past Friday. cents. Oh my gosh, you remember this guy, Mark? Sorry, what? Cliff Arquette. He looks like the guy from Hee Haw. Who does? Hmm. Or was he from... Where does it say it says Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Okay. These are my people. Cliff Arquette Museum. One paint splatter. Oh, a free pile. I like the free pile. Well, this is a multi products, but there's no price tag on it. Oranges on it. I'm gonna get that. Let's see how much it is. These are pretty bird plates. Melody. That's the cutest thing. That's so cute. I gotta get that. That's just too cute not to get. That's adorable. Yes. I do. There's a little rooster egg cup. This little TV is the cute. Oh, it's from Santa Claus Land, Mark. Oh, the TV? Yeah. Oh, this is missing its shakers. Mixing chili powder seasoning. I like that it's got the little, the little devil with this little pot on it. Mickey, Mickey Mouse Club, little glass, Alabama, Cumberland Falls, Kentucky, New York. I'm gonna get that. Beautiful Georgia, Rock City, Georgia. I don't like that one as much. Sorry, nothing against Georgia. There's the Smoky Mountains. I see those a lot. I have that. Miss Piggy Glass. This is 1975. Great America. It's probably worth millions of dollars. All right, so I wasn't planning on filming at yard sales this weekend, but I just decided, well, let me just go ahead and give it a try. And I'm glad that I tried at that one sale because that was, she had a lot of stuff and she had a lot of stuff that I was interested in buying. So I don't remember, I'm gonna try to remember some of the things that I bought from that sale. And then I'll show you some things that I got from other sales. 
All right, so something that I got from some other sales, and these will probably be, at least a couple of them will be um, available during my, uh, li my live sale on Wednesday, are these McCoy planters. This one's the basket weave planter, and it is McCoy. Um, they also have the little ones that go with it, the exact same style. They're marked McCoy. Now, okay, these are all marked $5 a piece. That's how, how much they had them marked. There's no damage on them at all. Uh, so they're in really good condition. They're a nice, pretty yellow, sunny color. So that I was drawn to that. So there's four of them. So they would have been $20 for all four of them. And I asked her if she would take 15 and she said yes. So I got all four of these McCoy flower pots for $15. So it saves me $5. And I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but it was a fair offer and she accepted. So don't be afraid to make a fair offer on something that's like, you know, $20. That's something that I think that it leaves room for. If something is marked 50 cents, just pay 50 cents for it. Okay. You know, you have to have the line somewhere. Don't, don't, don't be that person that wants something for 50 cents for a quarter. I also picked up, I, I don't know why I got this. I probably will put it on eBay because I have another one that was made by a local business that I use a lot. And it is this 31 key fob. You know, you, it's a keychain, and you put the, the thing around your brace, your wrist. So I, I think I might send this to someone as a gift. It was a dollar. It's in the, it's brand new. I use mine all of the time when I'm going to the post office or going anywhere where I'm carrying things in my hands and I have to, you know, put my hand, I put this on my wrist and it frees up my hand a little bit. So I did get this for a dollar. I also picked up my, actually my husband found this and we paid 25 cents for it. And it is, I haven't tested it to see if it is brass. Well, it is brass. A, ma a magnet does not stick to it, and it's this vintage keep on trucking with this fun vintage band on it. It was a quarter. I love buying belt buckles. I do pretty well with them. One way um, that I, a keyword that I'll put in my belt buckle listing is rockabilly is a good word, keyword to use when you're listing these vintage belt buckles. All right, so we got that for a quarter. And then another thing that I got, and... This is just the cutest little thing. And you know that I love cute little nuggets. I love cute little nugget things. And this this little guy was sitting on the table and he isn't a salt shaker. I'm sure that he went with something else. He was a quarter and he's just a little bird. Isn't he cute with his little spots? He's got gold and red spots in his little face. He's marked Japan on the bottom. So I, I don't know. I may sell this in a live sale he has a little chip on his beak but i mean how could i leave him behind would you leave him behind you can comment if you would you won't hurt my feelings i couldn't leave him behind so i got him i got an apron for 50 cents this really pretty sheer sheer uh with a little pocket little christmas apron it's in great condition with the poinsettias on it uh, and so I'm actually going to put this aside. I shouldn't have even showed it to you. Why did I show this to you? Because I have little Christmas things that I'm going to do a Christmas in July video for. So you're just seeing that in advance. Yay, you. All right, I also picked up a whole bag of ribbons at a yard sale for a dollar. There's all kinds of ribbons in here for my packages. I also got, and I'm trying to see, okay, who are you? Multi Products Incorporated, 1977. It needs cleaned up, but it's this little, like a treasure craft. And whenever I see these things, it always reminds me of George, the antique nomad. He's like the treasure craft guy. He knows all, he knows a lot about a lot of things, but I know that he likes kind of this style of things because he did write the book on it, you know, so he does know a lot about this stuff. But um, I picked this up, I think for 50 cents. It's got oranges on it. It doesn't say Florida or anything. Could be California, could be Florida. 
uh, but I thought it was really nice. Uh, I also got these bird plates. Now, they're dirty. Let me just say that. They, none of this stuff have been, have been cleaned, nor have I looked up any of this stuff. I just, when I got back on Friday, I unloaded my bags and set it up on the table so I could do a haul video. So these are dirty, but I thought they were pretty. They're transferred on here. They're bird plates. They're dirty birds. It is transfer wear, so it's not hand painted. But I thought that they were pretty. They're marked Melody on the back. Now this could be worth nothing, but they were 25 cents a piece. So I just thought I would see. I thought that they were pretty. They're just a decor piece. You know, you put them on a shelf kind of kind of thing. So for a quarter a piece, I'll give it a try. I also got some planters. I got some milk glass planters. The interesting thing about these is that they are made by Fire King. Can you see? Can you see that Fire King? Kind of. Made by Fire King. This one was a dollar. It has this hobnail on it. It's in great condition. These are just very shabby chic. You can put some pink flowers or some yellow flowers, or you could actually put some actual flowers in here, not just silk flowers. Um, and there was this one. This one is not marked Fire King on the bottom, but I believe it goes with it. It has the exact same hobnail and then the lines in it. This one was 50 cents. So I paid $1.50 for the set of them. I thought they were pretty for that price. These will be available in a Wednesday live sale. Okay, I also got, I don't know, I've been, I sell these once a week because I have, I had a small collection, but I keep finding more of them. It's a little pagoda style fairy lamp. I don't know who makes this because you know, I, I'll admit it, glassware is not my thing. I like ceramics. So the glassware stuff is just not my jam, but I do, buy it if I just find it interesting. And since it's a fairy lamp and I know that I'm able to sell those, um, I paid a dollar for it. It's in great condition. It has the really pretty frosted glass. These are really cute. Oh, let me see if I can get them up here without breaking them. They're little swans. And look at that beautiful crazing. Do you see that crazing? They're little stacked swans. They're just a little family of swans. And we've got a little trinket, trinket. I'm just looking. No, there's no damage on it. Little, it's a little condiment dish. So a little spoon would go here. I don't have the spoon that goes with it. And then the two smaller ones are salt and pepper shakers. They don't have their corks, but aren't they just, they're just, they're just cute. How they just stack. I paid 50 cents for, for these. So I've never seen anything like this before. And this guy has a, do they eat? Yeah, they each had just a little bit of a ledge where they, they do stack on one another. But these are fun. So these will also be available in a Wednesday YouTube sale. I picked these up. They're, they're more of a local thing, but I still might put them online because people do collect these sorts of things. This is from Delco Remy Allison Fibercast Central Foundry Powertrain 50th Anniversary 1943 to 1993 Bedford, Indiana. So basically there is a GM plant here in my town and it was the 50th anniversary of that factory in 1993. So I got all three of these little commemorative plates. They're just like a cast aluminum. Uh, and But I got all three of them for a quarter. So sometimes things like this, knowing that it's General Motors, that is a pretty collectible thing. Uh, Delco Remy is also, you know, a kind of a keyword for me when I see things of this kind. And I, it's a commemorative piece, so it may sit forever. But there might be somebody that, once these maybe that's the year that they retired don't count these out if you see these little hallmark animated friends that have their tags this one is the trick-or-treat ghost so they hallmark puts these things out and they make a different one every year and hallmark is kind of like all the hallmarks in my area have all closed so ha finding hallmark is kind of hard anyway so whenever i find these little guys that are animated and they work and they still have their tags I've done pretty well. I had another ghost that sold for about $45. So I haven't looked him up. I don't know. If, I don't even know what year he's from. 2019. So it's not that old. So 
it, but they, but they don't make this one anymore. So he walks. Okay, that's what he says. He just wants a trick or treat. He's got this little bag. So I'll put this on eBay. And it's, you know, easy to list. It's easy to ship. And there is a collector's market for those, believe it or not. All right, I did get a set of four of these McDonald's mugs. They are all Fire King. They were a dollar each, which for a mug at a yard sale is paying up for me. But they're McDonald's. They're Fire King. I have sold these before, so I know that I can sell them again. I'm... These will be listed on eBay. I also picked up this little chicken egg holder. It's just one, but he's cute. And you know what I thought I could do with him? I could put a, an air plant in him. But I don't really do chicken, so I probably won't keep him. So he's probably going to be for sale. But you could put an air plant in him. He's just, look at his face or her face. Are you a boy or are you a girl? I can never tell with chickens or roosters. He does have a little bit of a chip on his nose. Oh, and on his back. Why did I pay a dollar for you? You know, sometimes you go to a sale and you see something and you just fall in love with it. And then you're like, you get it home and you look at it and you're like, why did I buy you? Did I? you would have, I would have liked you more at like 50 cents, bird. But I paid a dollar for you. But he'll be available on a Wednesday sale. Now, this guy I knew was broken. I knew he was broken, but he's still cool. I mean, he's like broken, broken. Like pretty bad broken. But he's still cool. And it is this bobblehead. Now, when you're looking at him from this way, you don't, you know, he just looks like a nice little fella. But when you turn him, half his head is gone. I know. He's from the Cincinnati Bengals. He is vintage, and he's made out of that, like, paper mache kind of thing. So he's a vintage bobblehead. Now, these do very, very well, especially if their head isn't half broken off. But I thought maybe at 50 cents, it might be still be worth just seeing, you know? So I got it. I, I it, Listen, he's he's got a lot of damage. But I'm not scared to buy damaged pieces. I'm really not. Um, especially if things that are that are like this, people just, they might be a Bengals fan. Maybe they had this as a child. And obviously, it's not going to be as expensive as one that doesn't have a broken head. I also got, this is really, really cute. I have never seen anything like this before. I don't know much about it because I haven't looked it up. It doesn't have any markings on anywhere, but it's this little bee condiment. It's got a little spoon. I don't know that the spoon went with it, but the spoon was was there. It doesn't have like a little doesn't have a little notch for the spoon to go in. Isn't that neat? It's his little feet. So you could put an air plant in here, and he's got his own little stand. I don't know. I just thought it was, I paid two dollars for this, which is is a is a lot for me at a yard sale. But I. I, I just thought it was neat. This is stinking cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. So let me just say that. And let me also say that it is Avon. Okay, it's Avon. But sometimes Avon, Avon cologne bottles are cute. And this is one that is cute. It's a little thermos. It's a little thermos. Avon bottle. I'm kind of scared to see what it smells like because it's still full. It smells exactly what you would imagine that it smells like. This is just the sweetest little thing I think I've ever seen in my gosh darn life. And I love it. It was $3, which that's still, I don't, I don't spend a lot of money when I buy things. I, I buy things as low as I can, but I just, I couldn't resist. I could not resist on that. All right, this is something that will be available in a Wednesday sale. And it is this New York Empire State frosted glass and i also got this is something else that when i find these i know that th what i'm about to show you is on a lot of people's bolo lists and i think that i find them often because of the area that i live in because this kind of style is just not prevalent here this the area that i live in it isn't a big mid-century modern aesthetic 
design area. So I find these often and I still get excited every time that I find them because they're amazing and they're these these lucite acrylic, I guess I should say, these acrylic candles with the little flex on the inside. They are not meant to be burned. If you burn these, you might catch everything on fire, but they're green. And so I think these would be amazing at Halloween time in like a really pretty silver candelabra. They're, they're fun. And they were a dollar, a dollar. This doesn't have a clown on it. So it's, it passes and it, I can hold it in my hand and not feel like I'm going to like it burst into flames. It was a dollar and it is this little circus glass, but it has a tiger and the ringmaster, no clown, but there is this. I'm sure it had other ones that came with it, but I only have the one. So this is something else that I have also been finding on occasion. And this one is an anchor hawking. It's not fire king. If it was fire king, it'd be a little bit better, but it is a strawberry shortcake anchor hawking mug. It was $2. I mean, I did spend, I was spendy at this yard sale. And I got this too. It was a dollar. This has a lot of crazing and it's legit crazing. It's beautiful. I love it. Let me show you the crazing first. Do you see the crazing in there? So this is a little trinket tray. And I like that it had a horse on it. And I like that it was kind of witty. And it says, whoa, you son of a, whoa. And it's the cowboy falling off the cliff. So it's a little witty, right? It's a little trinket tray. It was a dollar. So I got that. This was in the video. I paid $2 for this, which is spendy for me. I was Miss Spendy Pants this day because I saw some good things that I wanted to get. And this was Mexine Chili Powder Seasoning. I like the graphic on it. I like that it has the devil mixing up some chili powder in its pot. It's just a small little tin. I you know I can't pass some of this stuff up. I like the font on it. I like the scroll work that's on it. It's fun, right? Nice colors on it. I don't know if I'm going to keep this or if I'm going to sell it yet. So the jury is still out on that. Uh, oh, this I am keeping. I paid 50 cents for this. I'm going to go ahead and take the tag off. And I thought, oh, look at that cute little TV. And then I turned it over, and it's from Santa Claus Land. Who I collect? So it's one of those things that you look through it, and you push down on the bottom, and it has different scenes. Cute. This is going to go in my Santa Claus Land collection. I got these. How much were you? 50 cents each. This one's an Irwin. It's a little baby cup. It's a little plastic baby cup. But my goodness, look at that. That's adorable. Look at that little puppy handle. It's plastic. It's got the little transfer uh, rocking horse on there. I mean, you could put Q-tips in. This is just adorable. It's adorable. So I got that. And then this one, I couldn't just leave it behind. It would have been lonely. It's another little baby cup. It's pink and it has the green. And actually, this would look kind of cute. Sit next to each other. Then now the transfer on this guy is a little, 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 little bad, but it was 50 cents. It's got like a rubber, well, no, it's got a weighted bottom. I also got a Fitz and Floyd, and I haven't looked this up, so I don't know if it's new, old, or what, but it is a parrot, or a parrot-like bird on a piece of bamboo, but it is a candle holder. There was probably two of these. It was a dollar. It's Fitz and Floyd. All right, and then I also got some of these Dayer tins. Now, I didn't realize that there was such a collector's market for these, but there is. People like these. This one's really pretty with the birds on it. See the birds? And it is marked Dayer, 1971, Long Island, New York, made in England, patent pending. There's the back. Really pretty colors, the birds. And then it also comes with a little candy dish that matches. It also has the birds in the floral motif all the way around. I paid 50 cents for this and 50 cents for this. I haven't looked this up. This just just got me, got me curious. It's 
not my it's not my style it's not my aesthetic i did pay two dollars for it this little miniature teapot it's very grecian looking or italian looking with the gold so i was like oh okay well, let me just see what that is and on the bottom it says that it's versace so i, d I don't know anything about this but it intrigued me enough so I decided to pay $2 for it, and who knows? I paid $5 for this entire box of paper dolls. And they're fun paper dolls because there, there's a lot of Barbie from the 80s. There's probably 30 packs of paper dolls in here. And then there's these cute ones that are the little Campbell Soup Kids. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. So $5 for the whole lot of them. And I'll have to just see what I want to do with those. The best thing that I bought, the thing that I'm most excited about, it is this electric life-size fireplace. Do you remember these? Now we have one of these that we use in the shop. We put it in the window and my husband hated it because it, it was very, very brittle and was falling apart. This one, however, has never been open. It still has the sealed tape. It's never, it's never been opened. There is one that's listed, mind you, it's listed. It's not for sale. Well, it's for sale, but it's not sold for over $400. Do I think that that's what this one's going to bring? No. Uh, I think that there were a couple of others that had sold for a couple hundred dollars. So we paid $5 for this. So that would be an amazing sale. And I will list it soon. Um, I'm not gonna wait till Christmas. I'm gonna list it very soon and get it up on eBay. You know, I don't like to open things that are in their original packages, but I kind of think that that deserves to finally be used. You know, it's been sitting in a box for all this time and maybe it needs to be used. So I won't, wouldn't really mind if someone opened this up and wanted to use it. So there's that. So my husband and I always have a very good time when we get, are able to go out and do these yard sales together. I hope that you like this video. Make sure that if you did, you give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you leave a comment. Leaving a comment in the videos really do help out a lot. Again, you know me, random. Leave me Santa Claus emojis. Just type a bunch of letters. It doesn't have to make any sense. But every comment does help. And of course, when you like a video, it also helps show up in YouTube's tricky little algorithm that it has. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.